Gerald, and Lindsay. What's going on? Joshy boy. What's up? How's everyone doing? Alex. Lindsay, how are you? What's going on, Alex? Gerald, since you're in here, I'll get B pack out before before I end it. And this right here, variable bush viper. Beautiful variable bush viper. I'm doing good. Hey John, miss you both so much. Hope you both are doing well. Yep, Bush Viper. And Gerald, if you have to if you have to leave before I bring them out, let me know and I'll get them out right away. Spencer. How's everyone doing? The bush viper seems fake, doesn't it? Just sits there. <laughs> yeah, it just sits there. Very simple. Makes it easy. Good, Spencer. I'm glad. I'll bring out something that moves a little, little more. I'll let you guys decide, um, Chinese Cobra or Monocle Cobra. Yeah, we'll definitely come visit soon in around 20 or so, Lindsay. Monocle Cobra or Chinese Cobra, you decide. All right. Spencer, I hope you're still in here. Well, hang on. I think the Chinese Cobra takes it. Chinese Cobra. Beautiful, beautiful snake. You hear him saying hello to you? Yeah, Gerald, they're so beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful snake. And Josh, before you go to bed, I'll bring Lila out. Yeah, Spencer, I love the Chinese cobras. Well, Skip, hopefully if you stick around here, you'll learn to at least appreciate them. Doing good, Josh. He was for a little bit, Gerald, um, but I don't want to, like, force him to. This is a Chinese Cobra.
Chinese cobra. See if Josh was here. I'd like you to see the um, pattern on the back, but it's not going to be possible like this. Yeah, Josh, they're insane. I have both of the crazy ones together. Not aggressive at all. Skip, you just learn about them. Um, learning about them will show you that they're, they're not, not something to fear, just to be respected. And this Chinese cobra I got because it was born in captivity. It looks more like looks more like the spectacle cobra it has two two um two like circles instead of just one Monocle Cobra. Lila the Monocle Cobra. Now I hope Spencer's still in here because this is Spencer's favorite. Freaked you out? Yeah, I'm sure it was surprising. Especially if you're if you're scared of snakes. Yeah, I do, Gerald. Two of them. Yeah, Lindsay. She's big now. Very big. Look how big she is. Yeah, this is Spencer's favorite. I have them here, but they're, I can't bring them out because they ate, but also they're very picky eaters. They'll throw up if I mess with them too much. So I don't, I don't bring them out too often. Yeah, Lindsay. John, I just got another one too, an albino. It's way bigger than her. Adrian, what's going on? Not too much, man. Just going live for a little bit. Yeah, it's a girl. It was from somebody that you you both know as well. I don't know if he wants that public, but so I won't say who. But from a good dude. Nice, Adrian. What was it? Because snakes don't want to. Snakes have no interest in biting people. They'll defend themselves. And even even if this girl decides. She wants to defend herself. A lot of times she'll strike with her mouth closed. So they do everything to get you to leave them alone. Yeah. Josh, you see that? Gerald, are you still in here? No, 
no problem at all. Do you have any other questions? All right, good. I'll bring B pack out in a little bit. Well, if you ever have questions, leave a comment and I will uh, and I'll answer it. What'd you handle, Adrian? I thought you said a chlorecus. But I thought you shortened it. Alright, I'll get Mr. B pack out now. double hook arboreals. So you worked with multiple venomous? Oh man, Lindsay. Sorry to hear that. Chino. Thanks so much. Super supportive. Thank you so much. You can keep your yard free of clutter and keep, they're, they're going to be there for the prey. So if you have stuff like, let's say frogs, for instance, that's going to attract snakes that eat frogs. If you have mice, it's going to attract snakes that eat mice. They're going to be there for the prey. Since you mentioned dogs, dogs are messy. They attract rats, rodents. It's going to attract snakes. I'm going to get bee pack out. Tell me if you can hear him. Thank you, Maxie. This is B Pack, the Black Pakistan Cobra. See him, Gerald. He's the best. Black Pakistan Cobra. Thank you, Kazi. He's defensive. I have free handled. Um, I don't really anymore. I don't. I don't care about that. So I have no opinion. He's just scared. He's always like this. So I'll probably end live after him because I don't want him to be. When I put him back, after I have him out, he's going to be defensive in his enclosure. So I like to leave the room after I handle him. So he's not going to be scared. So in case you missed that, b pack the Black Pakistan Cobra, he's very defensive. I usually bring him out last because he's defensive. Don't want to stress him out too much. So when I put him back, I go back. I just leave the room so I don't bother him. Don't be scared, Skip. I missed what you said, Lindsay. I'm sorry. I, I don't know who that is.
Yeah, I don't know why I made... I made two different Instagram pages. I can barely focus on one. I don't know why I... I don't know why I made more. But yeah, I made one for him. But, again, it's hard for me to focus on multiple ones. You said, uh, go get Hannah? She's inside right now. I think she's getting ready for bed. But yeah, I'm going to tell her that you joined and tell her that you and John miss her because we miss you both very much. Oh, everything's dangerous. When I dro drove home from work, that was really dangerous. No, he's not a spitting cobra. Thank you, Skip. Means a lot. Before I go, though, uh, can you guys tell me the types of stuff you want to see? Do you like just seeing the snakes? Do you like seeing me handling them? Do you like seeing educational stuff? Or just whatever? Thank you, Brooklyn. Yeah, definitely. We'd love that, Lindsay. Doing good. How are you? All of them? All right, I'll do, I'll do all types of stuff. Thank you, Mr. I missed the name. Josh, I think um, I might stay away from the feeding. That feeding video that got a lot of views, bringing a lot of negative stuff. I'd hate to lose my account over something so silly. I think that's just the white scale on his lip. <laughs> I can see how it looks like a tongue though. He has a little white scale. <laughs> it's not a problem when it's the people that follow me that see it. It's it got 20 million views, so it attracted a lot of, a lot, attracted a lot more people than normal. He's a black Pakistan cobra. I'm going to put him back before, if he goes in his hide and doesn't stay out and stay defensive, I'll maybe bring out another snake. But if he stays out and he stays hooded up, I'm going to end it. So just wait right here. A second. Um, his total length is. I don't know, four feet maybe? There's Mr. Jock. I don't have any of those. Um, difference, genetically different. Also, the size they get, the prey they eat. Thank you, Gerald. Means a lot. Means a lot. No, none of that stuff works. That's just stuff to, that is stuff to uh, get you to spend money. Doesn't keep snakes away. The only thing that will keep snakes away is eliminating, attracting their prey. Fang. Fangs. Fangs. 
Well, that might be all for today, since um, the other snakes, there's only a few that I didn't feed, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all. It is difficult in some areas to acquire frozen snakes. In Florida, probably not so much, since they have lots of invasive species. Around here, it is. Thank you, Lindsay, for joining. We'll definitely keep in touch. Thank you all. Well, I appreciate each one of you. Uh, I'll try to go live more often, but we'll see. Love you all. Thank you for joining. It means a lot. Anytime you have videos you want to see or snakes you want to see, you comment and I'll get to it. But take care, everyone. I'll see you soon.